Hi guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's health. And in this issue, we want to talk about erectile dysfunction and high blood pressure and how they go together. Now, right now in the U.S., there's about 100 million people with high blood pressure. About half of those are men, so say 50 million people with high blood pressure. ED affects about 20 million men in the U.S., so about 40% of the men with high blood pressure have ED. So there's definitely a relationship between the two. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. If you'd rather email me, there's a link in the description below this video to a form that you can use. Now let's see what we have today. Now high blood pressure usually doesn't have any ob obvious symptoms, which is why they call it the silent killer not a nice name, but the long-term effect of very high blood pressure usually leads to a stroke and it's also a big-time risk factor for heart attacks and heart disease in general. Now one of the many dangers and damages that your body sustains with hypertension is the damage to the endothelium. And the endothelium is the lining of your blood vessels and in fact of your whole cardiovascular system. It's one cell thick and it lines all your cardiovascular system. Now what's so important about this is that this damage causes a dramatic drop in the production of nitric oxide. And without an adequate nitric oxide, you most likely will have symptoms of ED. Nitric oxide is integral to proper blood flow, which is how erections happen. So what can you do to lower your blood pressure? What can you do to help heal the endothelium and therefore reverse ED symptoms? Well, I'm going to tell you about eight easy lifestyle changes. Now, easy is a kind of a relative term here because lifestyle changes in general aren't easy to initiate or to maintain, but on the surface, the changes are kind of easy. And what these changes will do, they'll go a long way to heal your endothelium, to help lower your blood pressure, and to help with any symptoms of erectile dysfunction. I'll also mention a supplement way to handle the healing of your endothelium, which may be somewhat easier than lifestyle changes. But these lifestyle changes are lower your weight because excess weight causes inflammation and inflammation damages the lining of your blood vessels. A heart healthy diet, which is generally no junk foods, high in fruits, high in vegetables, high in whole grains. Something called the Mediterranean diet, a great heart healthy diet. Lower your salt intake. Check food labels because food labels hide salt and hide sugar and hide all kinds of processed stuff, hide all kinds of chemicals. So check your food labels. Quit smoking. I mean, that's kind of on everybody's to-do list. Decrease alcohol consumption if you're drinking a lot. And that's sort of a relative term. And exercise, because that goes into lowering weight, goes into giving your heart muscle a workout, and it helps with blood flow. And these are all lifestyle changes. On the other hand, you can also do supplement, something called nitric oxide therapy, which is a really easy supplement to become involved with, helps to naturally lower your blood pressure, helps with cardiovascular issues, complications of diabetes, erectile dysfunction. It's designed to help to heal the endothelium in a very simple manner. Now, if you'd like to see a really good video on nitric oxide therapy, 
There's a link to one in the description below this video. If you have any questions about nitric oxide therapy, this video, any of the videos on my channel, simply give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.